Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. He was just thrown in prison. A Marine is in jail for doing what American citizens have a right to do according to our Constitution. The Marine defended himself, his friends, and most of all, his family. An armed criminal tried breaking into the Marine's home, was warned to leave, and that's when things escalated to an absolute disastrous level that should not have happened if the criminal obeyed laws and had any sense of moral decency. This sad situation should never happen in America. Marine Joey Nelson was at home enjoying family time with his fiance, child, and a few close friends one night. It was a cozy evening that many would love to have. Just some good old-fashioned downtime that allowed friends and family to relax and enjoy each other's company. But as the evening progressed they were startled by what was described as violent pounding on their front door. It was someone trying to force their way into the residence. People were scared. This didn't sound like someone delivering an Amazon Prime package. This was violent, scary, and worrisome. Nelson did what many red-blooded Americans would do, and he grabbed his gun to protect his friends, family, and himself. No one knew what was on the other side of the door as it pounded violently trying to get in. It was horrifying and like something out of a brutally violent scary movie. Nelson told the pounding intruder to leave immediately, but nevertheless, they persisted. That's when things turned violent and the night went terribly sour. Nelson warned the intruder that he was armed he should leave, but didn't seem to get any luck. Nelson braced for the worst as he became proactive in his self-defense. He opened the door to find 39-year-old Michael Wilson from Detroit, Michigan standing there. Wilson brandished a gun and started shooting at Nelson, who was shot in the hip. Nelson returned fire while telling all the people in residence to run for cover downstairs and call 911. The cops arrived and assessed the situation. In what appears to be the wrong side of justice, the homeowner was charged with assault with intent to commit murder, assault with intent to do great bodily harm less than murder, assault with a dangerous weapon and felony firearm possession. If convicted, then Nelson faces up to life in prison. A judge set his bond at $150,000 and scheduled his next court appearance for next week Thursday. Wilson, the man who was trying to break into the home, who also shot the homeowner first, was only charged with carrying a concealed weapon, a felony punishable by up to five years in prison. Wilson's bond was set at $5,000 and scheduled his next court appearance for Thursday of next week. Now we must review the Castle Doctrine and hope that it helps our sturdy Marine from being found guilty of anything. It's a shame he's in this position when all he did was protect his castle, family, and friends. Via Free Advise Legal What is the Castle Doctrine? The Castle Doctrine is a self-defense theory which gives a homeowner the right to protect his home with the use of deadly force. The Castle Doctrine originally emerged as a common law theory. Since then, a majority of states have implemented some statutory version of the Castle Doctrine. If a defendant successfully presents a Castle Doctrine defense, then he is completely exonerated of any wrongdoing. Read on to learn more about the proof required to assert the self-defense theory based on the Castle Doctrine. History of Castle Doctrine As mentioned, the Castle Doctrine first began as a common law theory. This means that it wasn't a written law but rather an understanding everyone had of the rule. Under common law, a person could use deadly force to defend their home, but only after using every reasonable means to avoid the danger. Some states still use the common law version of the Castle Doctrine, but most states have passed statutes to codify, or write down, the common law rules. The rules were passed so that everyone would understand what is required or expected of them before resorting to the use of deadly force. Even though the Castle Doctrine statutes differ by state, many states utilize the same basic requirements for a Castle Doctrine defense. Current Requirements of Castle